Winter Olympic Games are just a few months away and the U.S. ski team is starting their training here at Copper Mountain. In order to do so, they need a snowy course to practice on. But where's all this snow going to come from, if not from the sky? Well, right here. And here. And after a while, it all piles up right here. Now you might be thinking, that's from a machine. That's not real snow. But on the contrary. Man-made snow is not fake snow. That's a common misconception. In fact, it's very real, I assure you. See? That's a snowball. And it's delicious. Which means you can't flip a switch and shoot snowflakes into the sky just any day of the year. In fact, the main ingredient to snowmaking is the weather. And specifically, the right wet bulb number. But what the heck is wet bulb? Mike Looney, snowmaking manager at Copper Mountain, broke it down for me. Wet bulb is the ambient air temperature, which you see on a thermometer, and the relative humidity. The temperature at 32 degrees and 100% humidity is 32 degree wet bulb. 32 degrees and 10% humidity is probably about 22 degrees wet bulb. And the wet bulb right now is about? Oh, about 20 degrees. So output's probably pretty good. Yes, output is great right now. Right. Mike also explained that when the humidity level is low enough, they can actually make snow even when the temperature is several degrees above freezing. The only thing he couldn't explain was... So if it's cold enough to make snow, why aren't you wearing a coat? Because it's not that cold. <laughs> Clearly, the snow guns did their job, the speed center is now complete, and the U.S. ski team is off and racing. Lindsay Vaughn's coming. Stop. This is so Three, exciting. Two. <laughs> she sounds like a 747. I'm Hallie O'Brien. This is No Boundaries, where there's always a 50% chance of sarcasm. Go USA.